Hey Caster Derek here, Baker Six Clan. Today I have a very simple element that you can add into a creative cache or even a gadget cache. And I'm gonna show you two possible solutions, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot more. So let's get started. All right, you ready to get started? All right, so here is the element. Now the element I've seen in a couple of different places. I've seen it in a cache, I've seen it in escape rooms, multiple different escape rooms, but in different variations. And I'm just gonna show you how easy this is to add it. Now I'm not gonna put this into a cache, but what I am gonna do is kinda show you how to be able to create this. All right, so I've already done all the prep work of kinda cutting everything apart, because, I mean, honestly, it's just cutting wood into little pieces. So first off, I have my frame here. And as you can see, this is just a simple frame. I have my the bottom and I just have some walls. Okay, this is just kind of the basic that you're gonna to wanna to have no matter how you do this. This step here is going to just kind of be different for wherever location you're gonna put it. Now, that, like I said, this is just a sample so I can show you how to do this. The other piece that I have is I have this piece with four, just four holes on this one. Um, you can have a lot more holes on here depending on how complicated you wanted to do this. Now, I know I haven't really revealed too much on this yet, but, and that's, that's on purpose. So, so I got these four holes here. Now the next pieces that I have, I have a bunch of little pieces that I've already cut out. And really, this is the main part of it besides the part that helps you solve the puzzle. All right, so this is what you're gonna use. You can just maybe have different pieces. So what I'm gonna do is gonna take the piece, base piece here that I have here, and I'm just gonna pu start putting these pieces in here, and it's gonna be at different levels. So that's why I did multiple pieces, because I don't know exactly how I want to do this. So maybe I have two here, one here. I got two more here, so let's go four. And let's do a three and a zero. So really, I got four pieces. So this is one level, lowest level, high level, medium here. So you're asking, so what are you doing here? So what I'm doing is I'm setting up different levels to kind of do a, a puzzle. It's a simple puzzle. Uh, that you can do creative cash so the top will come on here and you're going to stick something in here to figure out something so that's what i'm going to do here in a second but what i'm going to do is go ahead i'm just going to go ahead and secure these in place so they're not moving and we will do all the different solutions from here so let me go ahead and get these secured and then we'll move on to the next step Okay, real simple. I just used my nail gun and kind of secure these in place just so that they're not moving for this. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna put this into a cache yet, but this is just kind of to show you how you can do this, all right? So now I'm gonna take my top with the holes in it and I'm just gonna put that on the top. All right, so now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna use to be able to put, to figure out the depth. Well, one thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I have this dowel rod right here. So the dowel rod, what I need to do is actually for the first solution that I'm gonna show you, I need to cut this dowel rod into even pieces. So the way I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna come down here to the lowest one, and then I'm just gonna take my level, and I'm just gonna do a mark right there with that piece right there. All right, so I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna cut now where this line is. I'm gonna cut four rods all at that length. And that's, that's gonna help me with figure out this first solution. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. Cut this rod four times at that length. Okay, so now I've got those four dowel rods cut up and they're all equal length. And so the first solution that you can do with this is simple the level, highest to lowest, lowest to highest. So I'm just gonna put these in here real quick. And as you can see, they're all at different levels. You have your lowest here, your next low, uh, next one up, next one, and all the way up to your highest one here. Now you're going, well, how would you determine the combination? Well, maybe you have your numbers or letters on the top part here, and it goes from highest to lowest. 
that simple. Or you could have a whole bunch of these. Does it have to be four? No, you can have a whole bunch of them so it gets everything confused. Maybe there's a whole bunch at different levels and different numbers and then there's four that are off. I mean, there's a whole bunch of different solutions that you can do with this, but that's just a real simple way of being able to do it. What if I wanted to do a solution where it's all even at the top? Well, that's a really cool way of doing it too. But one of the things, I can't use these same rods here because if I came in here and this is my, gonna be my highest one, so it's gonna go further down. If I came in here and put a mark to be level at this level, because I'd have to go with the lowest level here. If I took this rod here and I moved it in, that line needs to stay above the top, right? So if I move it here, it's below, and I wouldn't be able to get them all even that way. So what I need to do is actually have some different longer rods so I can figure this out. And guess what? I already got them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these rods in here, and these are kind of different sizes. I mean, this is just, it doesn't matter on the width as long as it is the length that you need. So what I'm gonna do, I need to make sure that when I put this, these in here, that it's all, they're always gonna be level. I need enough space that when I cut, it's not going to drop below the line. So I have a larger level. So what I'm gonna do is take my level and I'm gonna put it here, right here at the, here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and mark each one of these dowel rods level with this. And then, so I have my lines. So I have my lines here now. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut these and I'll tell you maybe a solution that you can use with these. Okay, so now I've got those cut up in four different lengths. And, and so they'll be level at the top. So they, this, so let's see if I can get this right. So I'm just gonna kind of start putting these in here. I don't know, whoop, I can tell you already, I am off. So now I need to solve it. So let's see here, this one probably goes here. That's level, that's level, and there. That's nice and level. So you, as you can see, that's nice and level across there. Nothing, if I put them in the wrong spot, they're gonna fall in. And that's, that's really key. I made that mistake on the couple first cuts I was when I was playing around with this. I undercut it, and so when I dropped it in, it fell out. So that's that's why I was saying use a larger level to come up top to be able to get this leveled out right. Now, the solution that you could do with this one, I thought of several different ones, and I've seen it several different ways. But the one I think would be probably really cool is that on one of, on these rods, if you had different numbers coming up here, and you'd have them at different numbers or letters, and so when you put them into the solution and it was level, maybe right across the bottom of it, gave you the code to get into the lot. That's just one solution I came up with. So what I would love to hear from you is what are some of the solutions that you would maybe use for this, this type of element? Um, would you use the, where it's level across the top or would you do the multiple levels? I really would love to hear from you. So leave me a comment down below and let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this. This is just another simple element that you can use in a creative gadget cache or a creative cache or just a lot of fun to do, maybe even as a game to set up. So let me know in the comments, what, which solution do you like better? And if you have a different solution that you would use, I hope to hear from you and, but don't go anywhere. I mean, come on, stay here and check out some of these, more of these videos just right over here and find the story behind the cache.